Hello everyone and welcome to another update for MLOps uh, here at GitLab. So today we're going to talk quickly about the progress on MLflow or on more specifically on experiment tracking uh, within uh, GitLab and a little bit about Jupyter as well because why not. So um, just a reminder what we're doing here. We've been working for the past few months on enabling experiment tracking for uh, for GitLab. So what experiment tracking means is finding a way or allowing data scientists to keep track of what hyperparameters generated what model candidates within GitLab and how could this influence or how could this be used across uh, the, plat the GitLab platform or better, how could the GitLab platform help data scientists track these experiments. So, on the past few weeks, we did a lot of uh, improvements on the UX and UI. We've been iterating over the internal testing that started in December. Um, so we have data scientists here at GitLab, and we added, uh, we asked them to test this feature. Uh, they already use MLflow, so the only thing that they did was swap the URI to GitLab, and gave us feedback or what needs to be done still. So based on that feedback, we've uh, added a few different things. So we added, for example, search. Now there's search over here. Um, when you go to the, we also added display for the name of, of, an exp of a run name, if there is. So let me just play over here, uh, this one. So if there is a name we display, the creation, the user that created it, when we go over the details of, of, that, of that candidate, we also will be able to see the metadata for that candidate. So for example, over here, this was created by MFLow itself. So we use the MFLow client. And here you can see all the metadata that was generated during the creation of that uh, candidate or of that run. So all of this came from internal testing and we are further iterating on this, uh, testing out new things. So a bunch of MRs uh, merged for this and additionally we took a little bit of time to work on Jupyter Notebook diffs. There's a big uh, low hanging fruit which is, there's a size limit for diffs which is 512k bytes. Any Jupyter diff kind of goes over that. So what we're trying to do here is enabling uh, setting a different size limit for Jupyter diffs. So we did the code already on Gitly. We just need to implement now on on the client side, on GitLab side, so that more users can uh, see diffs over Jupyter notebook diffs. So what's next? Uh, validate with further internal testing. So we did a lot of changes, a lot of uh, new features, a lot of that a new feature request from from our colleagues. Um, so validating those, we can move on to external testing already, uh, either closed or open. I'm not entirely sure uh, how that's going to go, but we are at a point that we fixed all of the major, we, we introduced all of the major features and fixed what was needed. So as a feature, it works already. So as a experiment tracking, it works. What we need to do now is go beyond is how can we leverage the GitLab platform to both increase the experience while using uh, experiment tracking, but also how can experiment tracking inform the other steps of the DevOps for the data science workflow or for the MLOps workflow. So yeah, this is uh, where we are at now. And thanks for watching.